time's up. I'm not going to let you see the answer. I want to know what you think. Um, how many say A? Energy was added to break this bond of this ATP sitting in outer space into two pieces. Okay. How many say B? Energy was released as this bond was broken. Okay. Still haven't gotten most people. How about C? Energy got added to start the bond breaking, but then energy was released later. Okay. How about none of the above? So, how about when I break this? Energy added, because I had to do something. Did energy come back out later? Energy, do you have to, the short, the, the, the question I'm basically asking is do you have to add energy to break a bond or does energy come out somehow? And I tried to say it, but maybe I didn't say it clearly enough. You have to add energy to break a bond. You do not get energy out. How do you get energy out of something? Let's do it in reverse. I had to add energy, I have to add energy if I break a bond apart, if I break two things apart. How would I get energy back? What's the reverse of that process? Form some bonds. What happens to ATP when it breaks into two pieces? If it's in outer space, you had to add energy to do it. If it's in liquid, with all the other elements around, it forms a bunch of bonds. And the bonds that form release more energy than it took to break the initial one. The whole process in water, in cells, releases energy, not because the energy comes from the ATP bond, but because the energy comes when you form whatever bonds, what other, other bonds get formed in that reaction. Energy does not come out when you break a bond. It comes out when you form bonds. You kind of know this. If I had, if I want to turn this to a gas, so break all the bonds in here and turn it into a gas, a poison gas probably, full of plastic. But anyway, if I want to turn this into a gas, do I add energy? Break a bunch of bonds. Do I add energy or take it out? Add. You, you really have to heat this up a lot. I need a torch to turn this thing into a gas or a big oven or something. If I have a gas of this stuff in a container, really hot, obviously, if it's a gas, what do I do to make the bonds form? Take energy out or put it in? Take it out. You need to take energy out so that bonds can form. Either you take it out so that bonds can form, or bonds form and give off that energy some way, somehow. If they can't give off that energy, they will not form bonds. This gas, a bowling ball right here, the bowling ball gas that I have in some container, is not going to form into a solid bowling ball unless it can give off energy. Bonds only give, form when they can give off some energy somewhere. So when you learn in biology that you get energy from ATP breaking up into these two, it's not the breaking up that gets you the energy. That actually costs you energy. It's the other things that form that get you the energy. So I have an ice cube sitting here. I'm going to let it warm up a bit. Uh, I have liquid nitrogen sitting here. It says it's, it says it's minus 100 and 142 degrees C. Uh, so 270. I, I'm I'm trying to figure out liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen uh, boils at 77 Kelvin. So this is not quite cold enough. Um, this thermometer is not so good. It's cold in there though. Liquid nitrogen sits in there boiling at one atmosphere, which is the world we live in, at 77 Kelvin. So down in there, this thermometer is supposed to be reading 77 Kelvin. 
uh, which is minus like 190 uh, C. So that thermometer is not very good at these temperatures. Nevertheless, my question for you has to do with, with this, uh, this ice cube that's sitting around. Suppose I take an ice cube from the freezer. I dip the ice cube into a cup of liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen boil. Oh, I already say what it boils. Uh, I leave it there until the temperature of the ice cube stops changing. So the temperature of the ice cube as I put it in there is going to change. There's an interaction between the ice cube and the liquid nitrogen. And that interaction causes the liquid nitrogen to boil even more. Why is the liquid nitrogen boiling a lot more? What could I say? It's, it's taking energy from the ice. What, what could I say about the chunk of ice? Is the, uh, as far as the liquid nitrogen is concerned, is the chunk of ice hot or cold? Hot. It's hot. That chunk of ice sitting here at zero degrees or something is a lot hotter than the liquid nitrogen, so heat gets transferred. What's the final temperature of the ice cube after the interaction just described? Give you a minute or so to talk about this. <coughs> 